welcome to data vision youtube channel myself santosh in this video we'll see roadmap of data engineering in 2024 now in this video i'll talk to you on this specific skill which is going to be data engineering now what is a roadmap how you can become a data engineer in the next four months is what will be covered as part of this video to start with I'll be explaining what is data engineering in a very layman term. Then I'll take that example to a real time world like what exactly data engineering means. And after that, we'll focus on the roadmap. And when I say roadmap, you need to also understand what are the skills required to become a data engineer. And finally, we'll see what is the demand and job opportunities that you will have with respect to data engineering. OK, now let's start with a very simple explanation. If you take any movie, if the movie is successful, everyone talks about the actors, the actress or directors, right? The last few movies, if you have seen, most of the movies have become super hit and everyone says that, OK, the idea was good. The story was good. The acting was good, right? And the picture which you're seeing on the screen, most of you, you'll know it, right? You know directors, you know heroes, you know heroines. So all this actors actress you think that these are the people who are successful for a movie but you know what is the truth yes they play a very important role to the front end that is for the audience they play a very important they show their face right they contribute in terms of their acting but what is really important for a success of a movie is it's not about the, only the front what is happening in the back end now if you don't have a, a proper backstage it's very hard to run a or shoot a movie now according to me the real artist is who's actually struggling at the back end in terms of soundproof the audio the dubbing the shooting spot right the backstage is something which no one ever speaks about it you have seen n number of movies. Have you ever talked about the backstage? Do you think the movie can be shot without this? Right now, that's where I'll focus on the backstage. For every movie success, I'll always relate it to the backstage. What is happening? Of course, the front end, you already know the story. You tell them what needs to be done. You know how to act. Uh, you are an actor. You, you are very specialist and you know everything. But in the back end, there is a lot of things that is happening which we are not aware of it. Well, if I want to relate this to our data engineering role now, well, a very straightforward explanation. In order to build a stage, when you want to shoot a movie, you have to build a stage, right? And you have to manage your lights, sounds, and you have to uh, set up the settings in terms of the shadows. You have to make sure that the uh, action takes place and it's a smooth show right and finally you make sure that everything is connected dots and in fact uh, not everyone will be allowed right only few people will be allowed for the shooting spot you need to have some passes or you need to have some power backups right well these are the main things required in order to run the a uh, complete a uh, movie right so in order to shoot a movie these are the things which is really important well uh, being a technical person, uh, being a data driven technical person, I would relate this exactly to what data engineers are currently doing. Well, everyone talks about the BI development, everyone talks about the UI, everyone talks about the front end, but who is the real heroes? It's you, it's me. We're all going to be a data engineers. The work done by the data engineers has never ever been shown at the front because what you are doing it's completely setting up the stage for entire other developers to use now slightly if you see towards the right side which is highlighted building the stage i'll be relating to setting up the data infrastructure managing the lights and sound maybe i'll make sure that it it's, takes place in a way where you completely have a data pre-processing and data management Setting up the scene where once the action takes place, the continuous scenes is getting recorded for maybe let's say 10, 15 minutes. The complete flow should happen. Well, that's nothing but my data pipeline creation where the data is moving from one place to other place without any breakage. 
and having a, a smooth show like you don't have any blockers in between or something which I would try to have a very optimized and a data maintenance. And finally, only specific people will be enter will be allowed to enter or I would say that you will be like having a power backups. Well, that is what I have also been doing in the data where I'll be taking a data backup and providing the data security. Well, the work that is done in the backstage in a movie shoot is exactly what the data engineers are doing in the real time. And that's what we call it as data engineering. Now data engineers are the engineers who are actually setting up the infrastructure for the data movement, collecting the data from the different systems, organizing the data, making sure the data flows from one place to other place without any blockers and finally connecting the dots and helping the other teams. It could be data science. It could be data analyst. It could be a business analyst. It could be a BI developers for them. You are actually the backbone. Now data engineers are the backbone for most of the data driven technologies and that is what we are going to talk about data engineering. Well, in, the, in general, if I want to talk about a very technical, getting the data, transforming it as per the business need and sending it back to the target table where anyone can go and just use that. Well, that is what I've been calling as data engineering. Now with this information, now let's talk about why it is very important. Well, I keep saying this. The importance of data engineers is known only if you're working in a real time, right? Everyone says it's a it's a top skill, but is it a really top skill? You go and talk to your IT IT people who are working. They will tell you the importance of data engineers. As I said, right in a movie, uh, you will never talk about the backstage people who are working for a movie shoot, but you know what is happening in the UI. You know what is happening in the front end where actors act and they, they complete the show here. But similarly, data engineers play a very crucial role in the backstage where setting up the complete system, right? So bringing the data together with some integration tools. And as I said, the more the data, better the prediction. And this is a one point which you need to remember without data engineers, you will never have data science or data analysis. Well, this is a very uh, hard fact that you need to accept it without data engineers. There is nothing right and sometimes what is happening in the real time. The data is not at all clean and the other developers are spending a lot of time. They're actually meeting, missing the deadlines. So in order to overcome all this. Now we have a, a specific role data engineers whose complete work is like what we do in the backstage. With this, let's talk about what are the skills required? Well, in order to talk to your database, you first need a language and that language is nothing but SQL and NoSQL. With the help of a SQL and NoSQL, we can talk to a structured data. We can talk to a non structure. I mean unstructured data or a semi structured data and we can really focus on the communication between the database. Now when you can communicate with only with the database with this two language, is there any language which is required to communicate with other tools? Yes, you really need a programming language and the programming language which we have chosen is Python. You may ask me a question. Uh, is it a mandatory to learn a coding? The straightforward answer is yes, you have to learn, but we are not going to learn any complex coding language like a .NET, C, C++ or Java. We have kept it very simple. Python gives us a very beautiful libraries for us to build the data engineering pipelines and that is what we are going to do. We are going to learn Python for our data engineering followed by we also should know how to organize things uh, as I said right I keep relating this to a, a backstage you have to make sure that the soundproof the um, volume or maybe the light systems everything should be well organized and that is what even we are doing here we are going to organize the data very well and that makes us to learn another concept with respect to big data technologies how to handle a, a big 
data systems. Well, if you're working with a very uh, like famous heroes, you have to make sure that you don't take multiple shots. You have to organize it well so that the complete from start to end the show continues without a break. The same thing when you're working with the data, we need to make sure that the data is also moving from the one system to other system, and that's how we are managing the big data here. And finally, all this environment, all these uh, things which we are going to do as part of the data engineering, we are going to do it in cloud. Now the choice is yours. Are we going to, I mean, when I say choice is yours, the choice is company's choice. Is company going to build their end-to-end data pipelines in Azure or AWS or GCP? Now that's the biggest question mark. Now one thing which I would say is you can learn one technology, one cloud service that will really help you to learn other cloud services as well. Now in this data engineering, we can learn all three. Then there, can, there is no one can who can stop you in applying for any role because you can apply as a AWS data engineer. You can apply as a Azure data engineer. You can apply as GCP data engineer. So knowing cloud services will definitely boost your entire pipelines. Data engineering was still in demand right from 2010, but in the past we were doing in the on-prem. Now we are going to do it in the cloud. So anything in cloud is always going to be a robust as well as the best solutions that you can, you can use it for your systems. So with this, let's talk about the roadmap. Initially, you have to understand you understand the language for that we are going to learn SQL and Python. This going this going is going to be a uh, hand to hand where both are very important. And of course, since it's a coding, you need to have a bit of practice and understanding the core concepts of big data. Hadoop Spark really helps us in managing the big data. And finally, one among the cloud service, it could be AWS, GCP or Azure should help you. But anything more than one is like a bonus for you. You can apply for a, a multi role. So knowing one technology, knowing two technologies, it's, it's always going to be better. Better they know more the opportunities. So any oh, you, you can learn more than one cloud services that should really help you. But I can promise you one cloud service is exactly same as the other just with the configurational change or the service names as simple as that. Let's say if you want to eat pizza, you can eat pizza in either pizza or Domino's, right? Both you will get it. But what is really important is how far it is, uh, what is the price you can get, how soon it can be delivered. Based on that, you will order it. Well, that's what I've been also been doing here. I'll try to understand what is my requirement. For my requirement, I'll choose the proper cloud service. And finally, connecting all this should give me an end-to-end -end solution. Now, this is something which we will be seeing as part of the roadmap and all the skills which you see on the screen will take you four months to prepare and we are going to teach you all this four in depth. So in the four months, you can easily become a data engineer and you can start applying for your specific companies and specific jobs. And to talk about the job market, data engineering is a, a very highly paid job where if I'm talk, talking about an average salary of a three years experience, three to four years, it is actually ranging from 70 to 20, depending on the companies and depending on your current salary as well. And data engineers are uh, very much high in demand because there is no talents available. We have the uh, companies who are using big data, who are using a lot of data, but unfortunately we don't have people to work on it and that is why again the supply and demand comes into picture and we always are like uh, in a resource crunch and talking about the uh, sectors wherever da data is there obviously there will be a data engineering but in fact banking plays a major role and it contributes to a lot of percentage in terms of the opportunities with that the openings as well as the a salary, which is any of you need to talk about the uh, the uh, package. It's going to be a demand and this is one of the reason that why data engineers are demand. Opportunities are there, but we don't have talents and it is expected by 2026 and 2028. We can see the demand is going to increase by 60 to 70 percent because the data keeps coming and we don't have a proper system to manage with that. 
thank you so much for listening please subscribe our channel and we will come back with few more videos thank you